the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams by Eleanor Roosevelt. Ladies and gentlemen, today you will witness the virtual completion and graduation rites of Malubago Elementary School for school year 2020-2021 with the theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin sa Gitna ng Pandemia. To formally start our program, let us open our hearts as we listen to the Philippine National Anthem to be followed by the opening prayer, singing of the Bicol Regional March, and SDO Hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. today let your guidance and protection be upon us send your spirit to us and give us wisdom we thank you for all the blessings we have received we also thank you for the lives of the people in this place be glorified in everything we do in your name we pray amen
for the welcome remarks. To our guests, to our beloved school principal, dynamic teachers, our dear parents, fellow graduates, good afternoon and welcome to the graduation ceremony of Malabago Elementary School for school year 2020-2021. The most significant event in a student life is none other than graduation. And since it is at the end of this stage of life, it brings us a mixture of joy and pain. Joy for reaching our dreams and pain for saying goodbye to our people who became, became part of our lives. My fellow graduates, we are about to reach high school in Malabago Elementary School, taught us the values that we need in order for us to face our future without fear. We would like to thank those, those who work hard in organizing this well-prepared event. Our graduation is even more memorable because you have spent time and effort to ensure that we will have a meaningful ceremony. Thank you, dear teacher, for the knowledge you have given us and all the lessons you have shared with us. Thank you, dear parents, for working hard to give us a good education. We are happy you are here with us today because this is a milestone for us. And most of all, thank you, God, for all of your blessings. And so, my dear parents, guests, in behalf of the graduating class, it is my pleasure to be welcome 
you to witness this year's graduation ceremony classmate. Fellow graduates, I wish you in good luck for the coming year in our lives. May this year to come be kind to all of us and may God and His wisdom bless us with success. Thank you very much once again. And now, to present this year's candidates for completion and graduation, we may have on the screen our very own principal, Mr. Santiago C. Hitumo Jr., and it will be followed by the confirmation and the message by our school's division superintendent, Madam Nene R. Marioles, CESO 5. The school's division superintendent, to Masbati Province, Ma'am Nene R. Merioles, CESO 5. I have the honor to present 33 kindergarten completers. 18 of them are boys and 15 are girls. 50 candidates for graduation. This is school year 2020-2021. 27 of them are boys and 23 are girls. I certify that they have satisfactorily completed the minimum requirements prescribed by the basic education curriculum of the Department of Education. I therefore recommend that the completion and graduation be confirmed. Sabisa ng kapangyarihang iginawad sa akin ng kalihim ng kagawaran ng edukasyon at alinsunod sa rekomendasyon ng inyong punong guro na inyong nakumpleto ng kasiyasiya ang mga kinakailangan sa K-12 Basic Education Curriculum ng kagawaran ng edukasyon, pinapagtibay ko na kayo ay nagtapos sa taong panuruan 2020 hanggang 2021. Maligayang pagbati sa inyong lahat. Ang aking taus-pusong pagbati sa lahat ng mga nagsipagtapos sa taong panuruan 2020 hanggang 2021. Ang akin ding marugdob na pagbati at pasasalamat sa mga guro at mga namumuno ng paaralan at sa lahat ng mga kawani ng SDO Masbate Province sa mga magulang mga opisyales ng lokal na pamahalaan at sa lahat ng nakiisa at tumulong upang mapagtagumpayan natin ang hamon ng bagong normal ng edukasyon. Kung atin pong balikan ang taong 2020, ang makasaysayang pagdeklara ng Pangulong Duterte ng Enhanced Community Quarantine sa buong Luzon noong ikalabing anim ng Marso, ay nagdulot sa atin ng pagkabigla at tayo ay nabalot ng takot. Maraming mga katanungan na animoy walang kasagutan ang nagbigay sa atin ng pangamba. Tayo ay napuno ng pag-aalala dahil naisip natin na halos walang sino man ang makapagbibigay ng ginhawa sa ating mabigat na nararamdaman. Ang bawat isa ay hindi naging handa sa mga pagbabagong dulot ng pandemya. Hindi mabilang ang mga taong nawala ng trabaho dahil sa mga kumpanyang nalugi at nagsara. Maraming buhay ang nalagas. Tayong mga Pilipino ay halos mawalan na ng pag-asa. Isa ang kagawaran ng edukasyon sa mga lubhang naapektuhan ng mga pagbabagong ito. Sa unang pagkakataon ay hindi nagkaroon ng seremonya ng pagtatapos ang mga mag-aaral sa taong panuruan 2011 hanggang 2020. Ang pagbubukas ng klase ay pinagpaliban sa halip na sa buwan ng Hunyo ay nalipat sa buwan ng Agosto 
ang simula ng pasukan, ngunit ito ay natuloy lamang noong ikalima ng Oktubre. Napuno ng agam-agam ang lahat patungkol sa kahandaan at kakayahan ng mga paaralan na ipatupad ang bagong pamamaraan ng pagtuturo. Ang mga gagamiting module, ang mga pagsasanay na kailangan gawin ng mga guro bilang paghahanda, ang kahandaan ng mga mag-aaral at magulang, at ang panganib na maaring idulot ng COVID sa lahat ng mga taong mamamahala. Naging isang malaking hamon din ang pagbaba ng bilang ng mga estudyante ang nagpatala ngayong taong panuruan kumpara sa nakaraang taon. Ito ay resulta ng pandemya na lalong nagpahirap sa pamumuhay ng ilan nating mga mag-aaral. Magkahalong lungkot at pagkabahala ang sumakop sa ating isipan. Naisip natin ang mga maaring kahihinat na ng mga pagbabagong ito sa sistema ng edukasyon. Gayunpaman, ang mga balakid na ito ay hindi naging sanhi upang matinag ang kagawaran at ito ay patuloy sa pagsusumikap na makapagbigay ng dekalidad na edukasyon para sa mga kabataang Pilipino sa gitna ng pandemya. Ngayon ay isang napakasayang araw para sa ating lahat sapagkat sa kabila ng ating mga pinagdaanan sa mahigit na isang taon ng ating pakikibaka sa COVID-19, masisilayan natin ang bunga ng ating sakripisyo at pagpupunyagi. Sa wakas, nagkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na makita ang mga mukha sa likod ng mga pangalan, ang mga ngiti na matagal din nating inaasam-asam, ang pag-asa sa mukha ng bawat batang tumanggap ng kanilang mga sertipiko o diploma. Ako ay buong pusong nagpapasalamat sa mga magulang sa pagtupad ng kanilang responsibilidad at tungkulin sa kanilang mga anak. Kayo ang naging bayani ngayong panahon ng pandemya. Ang inyong pagpupursige sa pagkuha at pagbalik ng mga module ay isang indikasyon ng inyong paniniwala sa edukasyon at paghahanda ng isang magandang kinabukasan para sa inyong mga anak. Marami man ang naging sagabal, tinulungan nyo kaming gawin ang aming obligasyon para sa inyong mga anak. Higit sa lahat, naipadama ninyo sa kanila na nandyan kayo para gabayan at turuan at pagaanin ang kanilang kalooban upang mas maging inspirado na paigtingin ang kanilang kagustuhang matuto at mapalawak ang kaalaman kahit na nasa loob lang sila ng bahay. Ang aking pagsaludo sa inyong mga sakripisyo. Sa mga minamahal kong mga guro at sa namumuno ng mga paaralan at sa lahat ng kawani ng STO Masbate Province, isang pagpupugay sa inyong lahat. Hindi man naging madali ang bagong normal ng edukasyon at hindi man natin ito lubos na napaghandaan. Ang inyong dedikasyon at pagtuon sa inyong tungkulin at higit lalo ang inyong pag-aalala at pagmamahal sa inyong mga mag-aaral, naging matagumpay ang makasaysayang taong panuruan na ito. Hindi man naging madali ang nakakapanibagong sitwasyon ng pagtuturo natin sa ating mga mag-aaral, hindi maikakailang nagawa natin ang lahat. Ang edukasyon ay responsibilidad ng bawat isa, hindi lamang ng mga mag-aaral, mga guro at mga magulang, kung hindi ng buong komunidad na handang sumuporta at kumabay sa isang batang nag-aasam na makapag-aral at magkaroon ng katuparan ang mga munting pangarap. Noon pa man, marami ng mga hinarap na pagsubok ang edukasyon sa ating bansa. Subalit, napatunayan na natin na kung patuloy lamang tayong magkakaisa at magtulungan, lalo na sa pagpapatatag ng kalitlidad ng edukasyon, hindi malabong mangyari na ang inaasam-asam nating magandang bukas 
para sa ating mga mas batenyong mag-aaral ay matutupad kahit na nagbabanta ang COVID-19. Tandaan na higit sa ano paman, edukasyon pa rin ang pinakamabisang panlaban sa anumang hamong inyong kakaharapin. Ang inyong pagtatapos ngayon ay isang indikasyon ng marami pang ipapanalong laban. Hangad namin ang inyong tagumpay. Sa muli, ang aking tauspusong pagbati sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the kindergarten completers and the graduating pupils of Malubago Elementary School for this school year 2020-2021. Abelos Wendell C. Campos RGB. The now Elisher Zandre R. De La Cruz Arvin C. Inubay Sander A. Lucias Patrick Miguel Panghunasan Martito R Rilano Janray R Siskar Jasnel Jr. O Kapinig Rizal May O Lario Decime C. Madronio Derazel. Maglente Hershey R. Oliva Kisha Kitli D. Oliva Rian Lee Nea B. Rojas Mikey L. Villar Jilin M. Kapinig Adrian M. Castillo Leonard B. Kuya Mark Elgin P. Gregorio John Kenneth S. Gregorio Torino the Third B. Lim Nathaniel A. Oliva Reynaldo Jr. A. Ragot Cyril Jr. O. Rubis James R. Dalino Princess B. The now Julian A. The Ugracious Knight N. Gordon Michaela Samantha C. Oliva Janelle B. Cyrano Alfea Jaime P. Zepeda Princess Lovely Jade A. Caparino David M. Kuya Jasper N. The now Emmanuel R. The Lord Aljun C. Garcia Jonas Landon C. 
Lario Jonas C. Manlapas Cleans Andre S. With honors. Masukol Norwin O. Oliva Jaime B. Oliva Johnny M. Oliva Vince G. Rubis Daryl J. R. Alido Nadine Joyce Y. Read Honors. Bawa Myla R. Kuya Anami S. Dila Cruz Chris M. Navarro Maria Niel N. Oliva Angel May A. Oliva Maria Teresa R. Ragon Chamiril O. With honors. Delano Jamela R. With honors. Serrano Almira F. With honors. Sese Letemi N. Tunil Ronaline D. Tunil Rosalie D. Briones BG O. Kapinig Jimmy the Third C. Cortez Jethro G. The now Dominic Kyle A. Zia Surinan E. Dolor Aljor C. Flores Balthazar Jr. B. Gortiza Miko O. Lario Mark Paulo C. Oliva Adrian P. Oliva J. Ian D. Oliva Marquin B. Oliva Sunrose M. Rojas Joshua L. Sunil Leon R. Abalos Eden C. Begonia Christine B. Kapinid Lori B. M. The Sir Princess Lara S. With honors. Lucas Vivian P. Oliva Alice Zandra G. Oliva Ayame C. Pagunasan Angelica R. Rapsin Joy D. Rigahal Clarilyn D. With honors. To give us the words of gratitude, we may have Clint Andre S. Manlapas. To our parents, schoolmates, friends, teachers, school principal, a pleasant afternoon. Today is a memorable day for all of us because 
we have just ended an episode in our lives, elementary school life. Now we are about to start a new chapter of our journey, the high school. On behalf of my cool graduates, I would like to express our deepest appreciation to all of you who are our inspirations, to our parents who are always beside us for the patience and flexibility as we, ha- as we conclude the 2020-2021 school year. We understand the enormous responsibility and challenges that remote learning plays on parents, guidance and learners as we had to create time, space, routine, and support for learning at home. We realize that all of our families are experiencing a difficult time and that are many other needs in addition to student learning that are critical as we work through this crisis together. For all of our teachers, we honor all of you and your act of generosity and kindness, patience and resilience for all for the fortitude and determination that keep us going. Congratulations to all of us. And once again, we are very thankful to all of you. For the Pledge of Loyalty, we may have our speedy Vice President, Kisha Monique S. Manlapas. I love my alma mater. She has shown me the way to be better, to be productive, and to live a fruitful life. She has prepared me to become a useful member of the Republic. She has made me realize to have faith in God and to my fellow men. She has made me realize the true value of industry, thriftiness, economy, literacy, brotherhood, fairness, and discipline. In return, I will cherish the things she holds dear. I will do whatever I can do to contribute to her progress. So help us God. At this juncture, let us listen to the graduation song entitled Moments. stage with the cameras flashing they've been waiting on our day it's been a journey has an end i wouldn't trade a moment no i wouldn't change a moment i'm who
Whether we've known each other our whole life or just a year or two. And I'm grateful. And for the closing remarks, we may have Mr. Sanchago C. Hitomo Jr., Principal 1 of Malubago Elementary School. I join the parents, children, and their joy as we witness their graduation from the elementary. This is a significant milestone in their lives in terms of their educational pursuit. Through, this is just the beginning of their long journey for education. It's a lifelong process, but as the saying goes, a journey to a thousand miles begins with a single step. You have done the first step, I recommend the parents for taking the initiative. I hope that you will continue to support the education of your children until such time that they will succeed and that you send feel though in the world. I remember the lines of the song popularized by George Benson, entitled the greatest love of all, and I quote, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well, lead them the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. Indeed, these children are our future. They are the most important resource of our country. As such, we are duty bound to recognize and respect their rights, and that includes their to be educated. Just as important, Schools should take the lead in shaping a learning environment that allows them to grow healthy, equip them with knowledge and skills that they can use throughout life, and enable them to become responsible and productive members of our society, instrumental in bringing about social transformation. I would like to pose this challenge of changing our society, not only to the graduates, but to everyone, to our leaders in the community, the parents, the teachers, to every individual citizens who in one way or the other can contribute to the transformation of our society from bad to good, from good to better, and from better to best. We, the faculty of Malibago Elementary School, are still holding and believing to the core values, vision, and mission statements of the better. To provide an equitable and complete basic education to our stakeholders, we understand that this normal, new normal will bring different and expected challenges along the way. That's why we are strengthening our connections in partnership to some private sectors and individuals who are willing to support us wholeheartedly in realizing our plans for this new endeavor. Our school is in need of enough fun for the location of learning materials for all modalities that related some infrastructure and internet connectivity. With this, we can now say that the blended and distance learning can now be successfully catered to our beloved learner. Our school enrollment for this school year 2020 2021 are 264 from kinder to grade 6, based on the consolidated learning enro learner enrollment and survey form by our learners and their parents. Malabag Elementary School arrived with 169 total, who prefers the modular type of learning modality. With a continuous advancement in technology, 11 teachers are computer and digitally literate. This skill will enable them to provide an effective teaching learning process to other learners, especially for the online learning modality. With these technological capabilities, we can somehow say that we are ready to deliver basic education under the program. Thus, work arrangement of personnel where physical reporting and teachers were two times a day following the standards IETF health protocols. The schools met challenges and solutions. Lack of additional printers for the reproduction of printed modules, but the school solutions look for possible sponsorships for additional outcomes. 
An availability with stable electric power supply solutions. Two for possible sponsorship for generator set. Lack of enough supply of needed materials for printing, such as bond paper and printer. For chase of an enough needed printing materials for this for this may report first and second quarter. We don't have dropouts. Thank you and